One of the things we constantly get asked is pros and cons to VR versus a screen simulator. And it really comes down to mobility, flexibility, and immersion when we look at the VR headsets, right? So let's talk about the mobility real quick. It is simply a headset and gun part um, and pucks that travel in a Pelican case. So that's that's clutch if, I'm, if I have a team that's spread out over a state, so like a state agency, um, or if I need to do remote training or distance learning. So there's, there's a lot of mobility in that. Plus I can pack it up and take it to various substations if I'm at a larger PD or various training venues. The flexibility of the, of, the, of the tool is that I can plug 40 dudes into an environment versus simply being restricted by two guys on a screen. So there's a lot of flexibility that we can get out of the VR system. And then the immersion, and that's one of those things that you simply have to experience in order to fully understand. We have experienced guys that are falling um, while trying to lean up on cars that aren't there and bracing themselves on walls that aren't there, et cetera, et cetera. So that true um, immersion, and it's not just a 360 environment, but it's also an immersion from positional work standing all the way down to prone, as if I was working underneath the car. That brings us to our next thing. So talking about uh, VR in relation to vehicle-based work, or VCQB, right? So we know from a law enforcement standpoint that over 60% of all law enforcement engagements occur in or around a car. And we see that a lot of guys just don't get the exposure or the experience that they need. And this is one way to start to prime guys and give them sustainment training. And one of the things that we're looking at with the VR system is it gives us the angles, the true angles, um, that we want to see as guys start to work that positional stuff, right? So if I'm standing, squatting, pieing out, or laying on the ground, going prone underneath a, uh, a vehicle to a threat, uh, the VR is, is capable of that. Versus a, a screen where no matter where I'm at, I get that same perspective, that same viewpoint, right? So it changes with you. There's a lot of versatility there. We've worked very hard to make sure that the ballistics match up with the ballistics that we're seeing in real world. So we're getting the deviation or the rake off of the windshield inside out, outside in. We're seeing um, doors not working as cover, but pillars stopping rounds, et cetera, right? So versus a lot of other programs out there where a car is either no cover or it's a giant cement block, it doesn't really give the officer or the individual who's working that the reps that they need, right? So there's that. We can play these, we can play through these uh, iterations and often see what the offender is seeing um, from the uh, from his perspective as, as far as how the officer or the individual is or isn't using cover. Um, and so there's just a lot of, there's a lot of key aspects that make uh, VR a much more viable situation or a much more viable tool when we're working vehicles. There's, it, it's not to replace an LTA, certainly not to replace live fire, um, but it gives us the, it gives us the, the force multiplier or the ability to um, keep guys primed, ready, and sustained for that engagement.